peace infinite waters diving deep once again eight problems only people with anxiety would understand can i get a hello there we are here in the art gallery breathing in that air yes i have had anxiety you probably have anxiety. I speak to people every day who have anxiety. Millions of people around the world have anxiety. Why isn't anybody talking about anxiety? Why? I'm gonna do it. In becoming your greatest version, what's helped me along my journey is realizing a little bit of anxiety is a good thing because it prepares us for the big jump. However, if you have constant anxiety, every single second anxiety, not fun. I'm going to share with you the big problems and give you the big solutions that have helped me along my journey. One of the biggest problems people who have anxiety know so well about is what I call the hourglass syndrome. Visualize an hourglass. Now imagine you are the sand trickling down. That is what people who have anxiety have to deal with on a daily basis. Time is running out. Oh no. You're missing out. Oh no. Other people's lives are better than yours. Oh no, you're never gonna make it. Oh no, your favorite two words. Oh no, if you don't wanna say that anymore, <laughs> what helped me along my journey was slowing down. Don't tell anybody with anxiety to slow down because they will only speed up and then slap you. You have to do this in a very practical way. Mindfulness meditation is the art of absorbing yourself into the present moment 100%. It is where you develop total body awareness, where there is no past, sorry, bye. There is no future, sorry, bye. There is only what is happening right in this very moment and that in essence, is where your power lies. That makes the anxiety subside. The second problem people with anxiety know so well about is when people tell them to calm down. Just calm down. That will only make the anxiety worse. I have worked with people who have autism, OCD, bipolar, and people who have a lot of anxiety. I never tell them to calm down. Do you know why? Because resistance makes stronger. Whenever you can be a support network, when you can form that support network, that support they need, if someone is dealing with anxiety, that will help them far more than just saying, calm down. <laughs> because if it was that easy, they would just tell themselves to calm down. <laughs> just calm down. No, we have to realize and get real. Only through support can you give that person enough space to help their anxiety subside. But the more you say, calm down, you now actually increase the pressure around them, in essence, making their anxiety far worse. The third problem people with anxiety know so well about is being highly critical. You judge not only what you're wearing, but also every single thought you have. Oh, and guess what? All the thoughts are bad, by the way. 
you also judge other people. What helped me along my journey was seeing the secret. Once you stop judging other people, you stop judging yourself. It's not about judging the thoughts you have. It's about allowing them. It's not about suppressing feelings. It's about expressing them. There was a great study by the psychologist Llewellyn who showed how just by thinking differently, you could reduce anxiety. So imagine the scenario. You're just about to give a speech in front of tens of thousands of people. You get on stage and you are sweating. You are shaking. You are full of fear. I don't blame you. Boom, boom. Yes, your heart is beating. But what happens when you have this amazing thought pop into your mind? You now imagine that these aren't people. No, they're not. They are holograms, new scientists. You are a hologram living in a holographic universe. I am a hologram. You are a hologram. This is not real. So now, who cares? And guess what? You go ahead and give one of the greatest speeches of your life. Well done, because you are a hologram. Llewellyn found that just by changing the perspective, instead of suppressing your feelings, is one of the most powerful ways to deal with anxiety. So you don't have to take an exam, you just are going to art class, just writing, drawing around. Yeah. And now the anxiety disappears. So once you change your perspective, once you change the way you see the world, everything changes around you. Yes, it's worked for me. It does wonders. The fourth problem people with anxiety know so well about is the big freeze. Freeze. Have you ever walked into a room and just suddenly stop and remain there for like 30 seconds in total paralysis? I said so many years ago, analysis is paralysis. Whenever we have that big freeze moment, our physiology is trying to talk to us, saying, hey, get me out of here. But we don't listen. We are lost in space somewhere. And the only way to get out of that freeze moment is to become aware of your breathing. And this is gonna take time. Practice it every single day, I've had to. But the moment you start to breathe deep from the base of your spine, not up here, but way down here. Now, you are not in the freeze moment any longer. Or, just clap. The fifth problem people with anxiety know so well about is, uh-oh, <laughs> silent. Zip it. You stay silent. You stay silent when sometimes you really want to talk. Ever been around a group of friends and you want to say something, but you can't, so it makes you even more anxious? Why does this happen? Silence is golden. It's wonderful to experience silence, but not if you want to get something off your chest, because now you create an energetic block in your throat chakra, in your thyroid gland. So what I realized along my journey is that expressing yourself 100% is the gateway to self-love. A lack of self-love is the root of all suffering. And that is what so many of us around the world 
are dealing with. We're dealing with a lack of expression. I talk every single day, not only to friends, but to the whole world. So I am opening my throat chakra. Therefore, I've been doing this for years. Because of that, it's not scary anymore. But in the beginning, oh boy, it was really scary. So solution, take one step at a time. If you go out, go to the restaurant with some friends and you want to say something, say a sentence and then two and then three and then give them a whole essay. Yeah. And they'll look at you like, who are you? And just tell them that you were diving deep one day. The sixth problem, only people with anxiety would understand is what I call overthinking driving you nuts. Overthinking has now become part of your daily routine. No, let me say that again. Overthinking has now become a part of you. The greatest way to stop overthinking is to let go of who you think you are. So why do so many of us overthink? Many times it's because we've got bills to pay, places to go, people to see, a lot of expectations to meet, a lot of expectations we place on ourselves. So therefore, this creates a lot of anxiety. You're sweating again. We let go and free ourselves of this constant anxiety once we begin putting things into perspective. What is the worst that is going to happen? Because the secret of overcoming fear is doing the thing you are most afraid of and then realizing there was nothing to be afraid of in the first place. Can you be vulnerable? Can you own your weirdness? Let me say that again. Can you own your weirdness? Because the moment you own your weirdness is the moment anxiety disappears. You're a nerd. I'm a nerd. Deal with it. The seventh problem people with anxiety know so well about is that anxiety is not just a mental problem. It's also an emotional problem, a physical one. And yes, it can wreak havoc in the body. Many people with anxiety, myself included, a long time ago, suffered from chest pains. Have you ever experienced a tight chest? It feels like you're just about to pass out. You're going to have a heart attack. And what makes it worse, usually no one's around. In New Zealand, there was a 2007 study carried out which looked at participants and studied people who had inflamed digestive tracts and it found a link between anxiety and irritable bowel syndrome. So there is a link between IBS and anxiety. I've experienced this in my early journey. That's why now I just chill out because I don't want to experience that. So you have to ask yourself, what are you doing to promote wellness in your life? What are you doing to embrace nature? What are you doing to get to know your body that little bit more? What are you doing to bring more peace into your life? Are you holding on to grudges? Are you, do you have a lot of grief in your heart right now? Because that is one of the biggest things that can cause anxiety. We have to let go of all of that. And then we become freed. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, yeah. And the last problem people with anxiety know so well about is you get a panic attack just before you are ready to go somewhere fantastic. At the most awkward time. You're just about to go to a party 
and it hits you. It always comes at the most inappropriate time. It's embarrassing now, right? You feel embarrassed. Don't be. What helped me along my journey is what I call the anxiety rehearsal. Just coming at the right time. Now, if you have a lot of anxiety before you go out, practice that same scenario, that same setting. Even invite the people to come along. Pretend you are just about to go out and rehearse it. Go on, get dressed, wear your favorite shoes, your dress, that tie you love to wear. Okay, comb your hair like you love to comb it, but you're not going out. But pretend you are. Now, the more you do this, what is happening? You are now learning how to deal with anxiety. You are now learning how to let go of anxiety. And therefore, when the big moment comes around, it's nothing. It's almost like a walk in the park. And that's exactly where you're going. You thought you were going out. No, you're just going to the park. Okay, so once again, realize we don't have to become a prisoner to fear. We should never let anxiety control our life. We should let anxiety be the fuel to help us become our greatest versions. That is what's helped me along my journey. Have a wonderful day. We are here, infinite waters, diving deep. Once again, stay well, stay healthy. Peace.